What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, comment below, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can stay up to date with all the new content I have coming out. I got a new series I'm going to do here. A lot of people are asking me a lot of questions. I have that one uh, video about um, coding your BMW. So you can't code every BMW. There's obviously older year models that it doesn't work on. But it pretty much still does a lot of things, even on generations that are 15 years old. So that's a few things you change. If you haven't seen it, check out that video. Uh, I got it in, I'll try to put it in a link description so you guys can uh, cut right to it. I think it's already in the description for sure. I usually keep it in there. Uh, it's definitely my biggest video. A lot of people do watch it. A ton of questions in there. And they're always asking about mods for their car. Now you can't code in mods or anything. You can install stuff, but to change performance things, that has nothing to do with coding. It has more to do with uh, um, tuning to get the, the true uh, quality of whatever you're modding your car with, whether it's an intake exhaust or you know, down pipes or you know, uh, 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 intercooler, heat exchangers, those kind of things. To get the true effect of them, that has to come with tuning and data logging and working with a custom tuner to get all those items to work. But I'm going to do a series on all those mods individually. Let's talk about what mods really do something and ones are just maybe for sound or aesthetics or you know whatever they do for i'm no performance guy by a pro that is not i'm not an engineer by any means but you know i've done plenty of mods on pretty much every car i've owned uh for years and years 10 15 20 years now uh yeah i'm giving my age away uh by knowing i've been driving that long <laughs> but either way i think you can see it in the grays anyway in the beard so anyways uh stay tuned for that series but uh, as you see in the title I gotta say goodbye. Uh, my business here, uh, COVID has shut me down. Uh, I took a position at, at another dealership uh, and uh, I'm gonna do that for a while and uh, maybe I can keep this alive, I don't know. I still have my, li my dealer license, so um, either way, it's good for a year, but uh, I gotta focus on getting the money back, earning a good living again, and you know, this uh, COVID-19 sure hurt my business drastically, you know, the people that I sold cars to were a lot of servers and bartenders and you know people in that lower income bracket usually don't have credit you know we help them out get cars all those kind of things so obviously those people all lost their jobs unemployment I know some of you probably comment below that you know some were probably making more money on unemployment that is true but you can't use unemployment as an income source banks don't like it and obviously I'm not gonna use uh, unemployment as an income source if I do buy or pay it for someone because that obviously I know that runs out. Uh, you got to have a job, a steady job uh, in order for me to fund you and uh, obviously we couldn't really buy at auction. That was difficult so it just ran into a lot of business problems and before we obviously go bankrupt and I lose everything, let's go ahead and shut it down and uh, move forward. What we got to do in life, we got to we got to take care of the family and do what we can. So either way I'm here at the shop mostly empty as you can see it's just a bunch of junk in here now uh cleaned out all the shelvings and little things i was using for detailing i gotta get this to the house still um i still have these wheels by the way if somebody wants to scoop these up i don't care you know this is an actual original set off in, off in mercedes that uh we sold uh those are the original wheels from the factory that they had some different wheels on it they didn't want the wheels so you guys you can you're welcome to message me or anything you want to scoop these up you can scoop these up i think i'm selling them for i reduced the price down to 750 for the set but make me an offer i'm happy to take uh get rid of them uh, so hit me up on that most of this stuff i won't be taking a lot of this is just garbage anyway a lot of these pads are uh a lot of these are old i'll keep all these little pricing things and stuff like that because those are those are a pain in the butt to order i don't want to be ordered waiting for them to show up so i'll keep some of those uh, most of this is just garbage buckets and stuff i'll bring to the house but uh majority stuff oh i got some you guys ever see these lights i bought these lights on amazon to get this brighter in here it's only a half set i got another row of them here and i was gonna i didn't know how many to order i didn't know how bright they were gonna be so i just ordered what you see here at first and if i would have stayed here i definitely would have brightened these up so these here um, we're about 110 bucks, I think, and they came with six. And then you, I ordered like two sets. So it was like six or seven or something like that. It came in like a pack. 
And these things are like 10,000 lumens or something. It, it, it's ridiculous. So I was amazed at how bright. Here, let me, let me turn on this side too. There it is. Here we go. See? It's pretty bright in here. When I moved in here, the lighting was those, that, those lights you saw down here. Those uh, fluorescent lights right there. These old ass fluorescent lights. Those things didn't make any lighting in here. It was so dull, and I don't even think all the bulbs even worked. And then uh, I had to, uh, I had to get rid of that and make it brighter because I had plans to do more stuff in here: window tinting, detailing, you know, uh, wrapping. We were gonna, I was gonna paint all this up and get out, get in all that, you know, all that part of the business, you know. And uh, you know, this uh, we had big plans, but you know, in a short time that that uh, pandemic happened. Obviously, you know. You see, I'm not wearing a mask in here, but I'm, I'm the only one here, so. I do keep a mask in my car, so I do wear the mask out in public. I know a lot of you are against wearing masks, some of you are with it, and it's just a health thing to me. If they say wear a mask, I'll wear one. It doesn't, it's not gonna, it's not gonna kill me to wear it, but it could kill me if I don't wear it. So, who knows, I'll take the lesser risk uh, and go with the mask. But uh, yeah, I cannot get this hose. This hose is like, <laughs> you can see the teeth bit on there. I tried to use pliers. I cannot get that thing separated. I cannot get it separated. So I'm going to keep it just, I'll just take the hose. <laughs> I'm just going to get the hose from, from the spigot. But I need, uh, my buddy's going to come with his uh, truck so we can at least get that because I can't fit this in my trunk. And I don't want to put it in my trunk anyway. He's going to, in a truck, not a trunk. Uh, so either way, I got another roll of tent left over from when we were doing a little bit of tinting, but uh, we had to stop that. And the rest of this is mostly just going to be junk. I'm not messing with it. I got some stuff in the office I need to get rid of. Mostly just paperwork and, and crap like that. I got to take this computer home. It's dark in here. Oh, did I just run into a spider web? Yeah, I got to take this computer home. That's got to go with me. Printer's got to go with me. Pictures, obviously the TV. Yeah, that's right. You can see I'll be watching you guys when you come in here. That's right. I can see if you're stealing stuff. This cabinet was actually not mine. It was the original owners that took the business over. So. That, uh, I don't know if he wants to come get that stuff. If not, the landlord is welcome to, to trash it. I don't really, I don't really want it. I don't, I don't care to bring it home. Uh, I mean, I guess it'd be nice to have some cabinets, but there's a bunch of paperwork in there that needs to be tossed. So I don't want to be messing with any of that stuff. So either way, um, I'll be back. Let me, let me clean up some of this stuff, get some paperwork ready and, uh, get this stuff out of here. And don't, don't, don't forget to Stay tuned because I'm going to do that mod series. We're going to talk about different mods, you know, from intakes to, to intercoolers to uh, charge pipes, turbo kits, superchargers, uh, exhausts, downpipes, midpipes, rear sections, wheels, suspensions. We'll go through all the different mods you can get for your car and what they actually do for it. Better, bad, good, power, handling, all those good things. And a lot of people do talk about these things, but I get questioned all the time this stuff. A lot of people DM me you know, on IG and message me from, from the YouTube channel and always asking these questions. So I thought I'd make a nice little series and uh, get everybody up on, on par through performance. So I'm going to try my best to get a couple videos out a week on that. So stay tuned. Hopefully the month of July gets that way and I'll get a couple a week. Normally, as you see, guys, that you do watch once a week, I make videos. So because uh, I do stay busy, so I don't have enough time to always make a video. But uh, hopefully I can make some more videos for you guys because... We're getting a lot more subscribers and a lot of people are asking for more videos. That's really good. I do appreciate that. And I hope that I can bring you some more videos. And as I grow and get bigger, uh, hence I'll do that for you. So stay tuned. Don't forget to watch all the episodes. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to clean up. Uh, if I can find anything exciting to do, I'll be back.